Hi and welcome back. So the YouTube video that's titled Andrew Huberman's Longevity Routine, Supplements, Diet, Peptides and Exercise Regimen that was produced by the YouTube channel Found My Fitness Clips is 15 minutes and 17 seconds in duration. Let's break it down and let's just look at the key points. And please remember, now I'm semi-retired, I get to watch between 20 and 30 longevity type videos most days, as well as reading articles, scientific studies and listening to podcasts when I exercise and I only review the videos like this one that I think are going to give real longevity value. So although it is a critique of the original video, it's most certainly not a negative criticism. Let's start with his morning routine. He says he typically wakes up around 6 a.m. and then hydrates with between 16 and 32 ounces of water. Then it's on to sunlight exposure, saying he prefers natural light, but if that is unavailable, he uses a 10,000 lux lamp. Sticking with the morning, Andrew Huberman said that he prefers to work out in the morning. These workouts are with caffeine, and that's either yerba mate or coffee, if his workout is resistance training. Moving on to his weekly workout regimen, leg day is on a Monday. This includes exercises like glute and ham raises, hack squats, leg curls, and calf raises. Rest day is a Tuesday, but it often includes heat and cold exposure, that being from a sauna and also cold showers. On Wednesday, he runs. This takes the form of a 25 to 30 minute run, and he says, at a faster pace. Thursday, he tackles a torso workout. This consists of overhead pressing, dips, pull-ups, chin-ups, rowing, and some neck training. He admits to a shorter workout on Fridays, that being 10 minutes of hard cycling, more often than not on the assault bike. Then it's resistance training on Saturday. Here he likes to focus on smaller body parts like the biceps, the triceps, and the calves again. Sunday for most people is typically a day of rest, but not for Andrew Huberman. Sundays consist of a long hike or even a jog. He explains this is more of a social activity that lasts for between 60 to 90 minutes. Then he describes his diet to Rhonda Patrick. He explains that breakfast is normally around 11 a.m. in the morning and it includes meat, berries, rice or oatmeal and some vegetables. For snacks, he turns to protein drinks, nuts, beef jerky sticks and sometimes bone broth. He then talks about his dinner. Here the emphasis is on vegetables, pasta, rice or risotto but all with less protein. He then touches on his stress modulation protocol. He uses a breathing technique called the physiological sigh. Andrew Huberman then turns his attention to his supplements. Morning first, Tonga Ali and Fadosia for his testosterone support. Then a fish oil supplement with between one and two grams of EPA. He takes a multivitamin, a ginger capsule, some digestive enzymes, zinc, boron, 5,000 international units of vitamin D and also some vitamin K2. In the evening, he takes magnesium and apigenin. He does this 30 minutes before he goes to sleep. He then covers the peptides that he takes. He admits to having experimented with BPC-157 for injury recovery, but he cautions against prolonged use. He also says that he stopped using sermorelin. This, he explained, was having a negative impact on his REM sleep. My takeaway from this video was his overall philosophy. He focuses on a balanced approach to fitness and health, aiming for overall functionality and enjoyment of life. He prefers consistency and flexibility over rigidity, ensuring his routine allows for a fulfilling lifestyle. I think a pragmatic, flexible approach to life for normal people has to be best. If your job is living longer, like Brian Johnson, then a more rigid, monk-like approach may well be the answer. Let me know if you like Andrew Huberman's approach to fitness, diet, supplements, and also longevity.